What's up everyone, Gushy here, and in this video, we are going over my Ronin build that I've been using in Ghost of Tsushima Legends. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit different, as it's going to be a live uh, voiceover, um, so it's a little different, um, so let me know what you guys think. So this is the build I've been using to uh, attempt to do solos, hopefully you guys find it helpful as well. Um, so this build kind of focuses on a lot of ghost weapon damage, but... Um, I think the main difference are the techniques. So I think the gear is pretty standard to uh, what you kind of you guys are kind of used to. Um, I'm using water katana. You could basically use any um, type of stance you want. Stone is pretty good. Moon master is pretty good if you're into that. Um, I just didn't want to reroll. <laughs> I only have a bit of uh, curse gear, so eventually I'll get a I have one right over here. Moon master one. So just gotta level that up, but. Up to you guys, uh, the katana doesn't matter that much. Um, of course, bomb packs, uh, we want blast radius, uh, black powders, and flashes. Um, for the most part, we want ghost weapon damage on all our charms, our um, ghost weapon 1 and ghost weapon 2. Uh, we need cow chops to get that, that ghost weapon damage on the third slot. Um, let's see, what else? We got combat regeneration. Okay, let me... Let's, let's take a look at this. So, the main difference, and I think the one downside to this build is that you have a little bit less healing. So, we're taking Flaming Roar, and we're taking Staggering Breath. Um, these are both like really offensive uh, tools, and so the only healing we're going to be getting is through Combat Regeneration, but we'll also be boosting this a little bit further with Quick Regenerate over here. This will increase your healing received and health regen by 50%, so... Um, just a little more healing, but, uh, what's cool is that as you activate Staggering Breath, this will proc the combat regeneration. Um, usually, I, I did a couple of videos on this, but usually, um, combat regeneration kicks in when you're in stealth. So this is really, really good on the assassin. But what's not really known is that, um, if you, if enemies are not noticing you. So this means that while you're using your ultimate, um, some enemies don't don't try to ag don't aggro on you. And this kicks in. So I'll show you guys later in the in the gameplay later on, but um, just keep that in mind because we can trigger that a lot as we use our bomb packs, get our ult really quickly. Or fairly quickly I'd say. Uh, next up, of course we have the Spirit Kunai. I think one of my favorite uh, legendaries in the game. Uh, mostly just to get all our abilities back. Mostly to get our flaming roar. Um, we're using a lot of fire damage. Um, with the fire damage buffs, we're definitely taking fire master and um, as close to max fire damage as possible. So we got 19.8, which is not max, but you know, miss missing 0.2% isn't that bad. And of course, we'll uh, be taking... Um, status effect damage, status effect duration, and such. So we got bomb packs, we got status effect damage, and then what else? Cow chops, we got status effect duration. Um, of course, with the update, the cow chops also have has munitions as a perk you can get. So we're definitely taking that. Um, for the second perk for uh, the cow chops, this is a toss up. You can go with deep bags if you want to hit more enemies. Or you can go with Fired Up to even get more um, fire damage on people. Uh, up to you guys. I think either one is a really, really good option. Um, next up, let's see. We definitely want to take this Ghost Weapon damage. Uh, this perk one, Enhanced Ghost Weapons. Um, yeah, it's probably definitely the, the best choice. Because we want that max Ghost Weapon damage. Just to finish off enemies with our Spirit Kunai. Get our all our cooldowns really quickly, and uh, yeah, let's uh next let's hop into some some platinum gameplay. Let's go Shadows of War. Excellent choice. The shadows of all right, we'll just be going through Wave Zero mostly to show off the play style, get a sense of you know how to rotate your different abilities because we got a lot. We got the Caltrops, Flaming Roar. We got a damaging alt, and we just don't have, we don't, we're not reliant on our bomb packs, you know? So we'll just throw all cow traps over here, try to avoid those attacks, and then 
It's a barrel, so we'll just kind of pop that. They should catch on fire, and should be some easy kunai kills. Very nice. These guys' eyes are decently low, but we'll get them even lower with the flame roar. So they should be easier fire uh, kills, and uh, maybe a little more. Just a little more, and yeah, there we go. It's getting a little dangerous, so pop that. Easy kills again. And we have our cow traps again, and our ult. I actually like to couple the ult because uh, it uh, weakens them. Couple it with the um, flame roar. Get a little extra damage with their ult. Dodge them. Now that we don't have any of our abilities, we can definitely use our Way of the Flame. With all our, our fire buffs, we can do like a decent amount of damage. See, got our abilities back. We kind of use our concussions to stagger the people. Oh, hold on. Stop attacking, please. Thank you. Okay, chill. Finish him off with the kunai. And just stun lock this guy with their concussions. Dodge that and finish him off. Nice. We could use their kunai, but everything else is pretty much back. Alright, let's find this Tengu first again. Where is he at? There he is. Alright, he's probably gonna drop down, but let's try to circle to avoid his attack. He'll probably drop down over here. But, what we wanna do is... Get our Flaming Roar to kinda pepper him down. Get a little bit more damage and finish off with the Kunai. This guy's still low. Kunai again. And now we have our ult, so let's try to group them up first. Actually, hold on. Take out these archers with our... Set them on fire. And they should be decently low to uh, take down. Make sure they don't run away. You know, get our cow traps. Get some easy damage, build our ult, and they're grouped up together, so pop that, and with Flaming Roar, they should be really low. Hopefully they don't die, so we're gonna get some kunai kills. There we go. These guys are pretty low. Oh gosh, gotta be careful. And finish them off. Oh, oh, that wasn't enough. Let's see, we'll try to f save Flaming Roar. Let's take out this archer. Oh no, he went up there. Come down please, sir. Nice. Now it's just this guy. Just hit him with all the kunai, and he's done. One thing is that the combat regen is not going to fool you up to you know, get your health up to full, but it's still a decent amount, right? <laughs> and look, we got all our abilities back. Okay, let's take care of this Tango again. Circle around him till his crows are gone. Drop some cow chops right on him. Stun him for a little bit. Flaming Roar. And this should be enough to take down Get some kunai kills. Oh gosh, hold on, hold on. Take it easy. There we go. Now he's dead. Now we're gonna use this. Boom. Got some ammo back. These guys are pretty low, so let's kunai them. Nice. Okay, got a flamey roar. Ooh, these guys are pretty low too. Let's get this guy. And then kunai them. And we still got flamey roar. Get them on fire. This guy's getting a little annoying. Ah, it's taking 
get some fire damage with this. Take him down a little bit faster. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Alright, we're gonna play a little defensively. Now that, uh... Kind of low. What's nice is that if you, uh... Flash him. That should proc the uh, combat regen as well. Oh, that's gonna blow up the barrel. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Thank you, barrel. Now, let's see, combat regen is kicking in. Again, not so full, but you know, decent job. Got some ammo back, and we're pretty much pretty much good. Got cow traps for the missions, almost full on black, black powders and uh, flashes. All right, maybe we'll, maybe we'll go through wave one to see how fast it, it wipes waves. It's platinum, so it's it's a little bit random. We'll see where they spawn. Stable? All right. So you got a really nice combination. So you want to use your abilities first, uh, so that once you get kills with the kunai, you can refresh them. These are like easy kills like that. Easy. I'm gonna use their ult right here. Ooh, double wave. Okay, there we go. Combo that with the uh, flame roar. Hopefully they don't die. And kunai kills. Very nice, very nice. Lower this guy. And this another easy kill. Another kill. Just make sure to get your abilities down so that when you do get those kunai kills, it's pretty much easier. Gotta take them out a little bit quicker so we'll pop both fire. And get those kills. This guy is skilly a little lower. Ah, come on. Nice kills. We can get there in time. We'll see. Ooh, this is gonna be a close one. We got our ult and rain flaming roar. Whoop! Nah, air anyway. That's gonna hurt. Look how low they got though. These are easy kunai kills. It's gonna protect the zone for a little bit. Let them group up so we can get those kunai kills. Just like that. And like that. Ah, that one missed. Just take them out with our sword. Easy. And just finish them off with the kunai. There we go. And that's it. Still lost his own, but again with that passive healing and a lot of offensive tools, this is pretty good and I'd say my go-to. If you're having trouble, I think you could switch out your, your cow traps for, for some smoke if you really need more cover, especially on those those tangu waves, those those damn tangus man. I swear. Sometimes you need them. Ooh, look at those. Look at those kills. Easy. Okay, yeah, we'll get these guys low. Get these spirit kunai kills. I'm gonna take them out pretty quickly. Ooh, more waves. And I'm group up, drop this, and use our ult. Don't have staggering breath yet. There we go. Flame roar, my bad. Get those confused. And there should be some good kills. Okay, we got flashes. Pick up some ammo. Oh, we got some, uh, I forgot about this. Should have black powders. 
Just get them low. We gotta get those kunai kills though. There we go. And staring breath again. Flaming roar, my bad. This guy's low. Nice. Oh, we'll just keep cycling our ults. Easy. Oh, I missed them. Holy moly. Okay, we're kind of low again, so we're just gonna play a little safe. Okay, we need to get our ult my health back, so we're just gonna spam this a little bit. There we go. And couple that with the flame roar, and that's some easy kunai kills. Kunai kills. Haha! <laughs> it's so satisfying. <laughs> you just back to back spirit kunai kills. Alright, let's see. Depending on where they come from, let's try to set up our cow traps early. Oh. Where are they? They should be coming through here. Pop it right over here. And what we can do is hide a little bit. Oh, we don't have our... Ah. Uh, black powders? Nah. Alright, we'll just have to do that. Hopefully we can get some kunai kills for nice. Alright, got our ult, so let's use that. We should have Roaring Flame. Like that, and three kunai kill. <laughs> Look how low they are. Pop that again. Just in case, we'll pop that. We want it back, so we're just gonna spam that. We got multiple ults ready. There we go. They should be ready for the kunai kills. Flaming roar. Very nice, very nice. These guys are low. Just in case, we'll use flashes. Again? <laughs> Flaming Roar. Kunai kill. This guy's low. Ooh, invisible guy. And just in case. There we go. Let him just tick down. <laughs> Take the fire. There we go. Yeah, so with that, I know there's a little bit more than Wave Zero, but hopefully you got an idea of, um, you know, both Wave Zero and uh, during Waves. I think it's this build gets a lot better when there's more enemies, because they all group up. You can hit more enemies with the Roaring Flame, with your abilities. It's uh, super satisfying. But with that, hope you guys learned something in this video. If you did, please drop a like, consider subscribing, and as always, thank you guys for watching. Hope to catch you in the next one, and GG's.